Hi guys, so in this video I'm just playing around with some ballistics gel that I made. It's basically just gelatine that I covered uh, just enough with water, so it's quite tough. I will be shooting uh, 23 grain slugs, the G2 slugs, at around 950 feet per second. And I will be shooting at 30 meters. Uh, when I transferred all the files to the computer to do the editing, I lost the original um, first part of this video. So yeah, this is just the new uh, intro. So I hope you enjoy the video and like and subscribe if you want to see more. Okay, hey, let's see what happens. Um, that was a pretty good shot. Let's go and see what the what the damage is and Yeah, hopefully we can recover the the slug Okay, well, there's a small little entrance hole and Okay, it came it came out the back. This is pretty pretty solid um, <laughs> So yeah uh, I think I might just put something behind it and shoot it one more time and then just see if I can recover the, uh, recover the slug. Um, okay, so I had another idea. I'm going to shoot this uh, can of water from the top um, because I don't want to shoot uh, another shot into the, um, into the gelatin. Um, I want to see what damage the slug did. So to catch a slug, I'm going to try and see uh, if <laughs> all of this water can stop it. And hopefully it can. And yeah, uh, we'll see what happens. Let's see if I can hit the bottle cap. Oh, I think I did hit it. Okay, so that was quite a nice explosion. Um, yeah, uh, the wind is starting to pick up quite a lot now, but for the slugs, 30 meters is nothing, just hold dead on. So let's see. Okay, <laughs> I already see water coming out the back. So, um, ah, we caught the slug. We caught the slug. Let's see where is it? Wow, okay. So it mushroomed up. Just try and focus there. Uh, not on my face. Yeah, I will take some pictures, but it mushroomed pretty nicely, I have to say. And the only reason I think it stopped was because that hard part of the bottle there. So Wow, <laughs> these slugs have a lot of energy still left and it mushrooms re uh, really, really nicely. Okay guys, so I'm going to cut this open and uh, see uh, what, the, what the damage looks like. Uh, just to show you guys, I'm really pressing <laughs> and this is uh, pretty tough stuff. So the slugs are pretty, pretty powerful. <laughs> gonna try and cut this open okay well uh, it looks like the slug is still inside um, did it hit it so hard that uh, it split open at the bottom or oh, what happened um, okay I'm gonna try and take the slug out okay so here is the the slug um, it completely opened up and mushroomed um, yeah these uh, the outside almost broke off it looks or it seems like I'm pretty happy happy with that result I thought it went straight through because of um, of this uh, of this part at the back I don't know what 
<laughs> what happened there but um, it's a good thing that it didn't go through so it means that uh, uh, all of its energy was dropped um, so we have two slugs recovered uh, this one and that one um, so this is just the plain water and then that one is when it hit um, a flesh like substance so I would say um, the results, yeah, the results speak for themselves. These slugs work great. Um, that was 30 meters at 950 feet per second. Just for a comparison, I added a slug which I retrieved when I shot the ground squirrel at around 120 meters. The slug went in at the back and stopped just under the skin in its head. As you can see, the slug went about 60 millimeters into the ballistics gel and it expanded to 7.68 millimeters. The slug that was shot into the water expanded to 6.66 millimeters. The slug that I recovered from the ground squirrel opened up to 6 millimeters. As you can see, it's quite hot. Um, the wind is blowing, but uh, the heat is up there. Um, I'm almost on my way to my brother to go for a braai, so I hope you like this video. Um, like it, subscribe if you want to see more and thanks for watching.